I'm Jay Nero. I will be your host today for the Works of Heart Experience. We have first Mastermind Alliance or MMA, The Habit of Letting Go, H O L G, Coherent Rhythm or CR. Heart Wi-Fi Connect, or HWC. Stay Woke, SW. Golden Aura State of Being, or G-A-S-O-B. Ascended Master, AM. The Platonic Solids, or TPS for short. And last but not least, Golden Galaxy. All of these masterpieces are a two for one masterpiece in the sense that you see them in the day, but they also have a glow at the night feature. So while you're in your day going about your thing, you can see it, and then when you hit the lights, you get another show. This mastermind collection is created to help us as a conscious whole elevate and go from a state from doing to being. In this world, we're always doing this, doing that, and never taking time to be appreciative of a moment, to be appreciative of a person, or just to be appreciative of the day. So this artwork was inspired in the sense to make us as a collective whole go from a state of doing to beings because we are human beings, not human doings. Starting with the Mastermind Alliance, it was inspired from the works of Napoleon Hill Laws of Success. Hill was commissioned at the request of Andrew Carnegie with the task of documenting the elite and wealthy for over a 20 year span. Allegedly based on the interviews of 100 American millionaires, including but not limited to J.P. Morgan, John D. Rockefeller, Alexander Graham Bell, to name a few. The underlying principles that stood out amongst the many greats is what formed into the 16 laws of success that we know today. Once formed, the Mastermind Alliance creates a conscious cloud to where ideals that could not be generated or formulated by itself just so happen to come in abundance. I like to think of it simply as synchronized brainstorming. Um, Matthew 18, 20 says, for where there are two or three gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst. Matthew 18, 19 and 20. Again, I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father, which is in heaven. Lastly, with the Mastermind Alliance, you are the sum total of your influence. Plant yourself in good seed so that you may produce good fruit. Next, we have the habit of letting go. This is one of my personal favorites because this last year I went through a lot of change and transition. And oftentimes we may ask God for something or a blessing. But I raise the question, do you have the space to receive that what he's asking for? And oftentimes we don't. And it wasn't until I let go that I was able to receive my, all my blessings meant for me. Um, this was also inspired by the book produced by Wayne Dyer, Change Your Thoughts, Change Your Life, and a Spiritual Solution to Every Problem. 
After a birthday, Wayne Dyer followed his intuition and let go of all his accolades, all things that he possessed, and dedicated one year to understanding and meditating on the works of the Tao Te Ching by Lao Tzu, which Lao Tzu means old master, Tao Te Ching means the book of the way and its power, and it features 81 verses. 1 through 37 is Tao Ching, 37 through 81 is teaching. Wayne Dyer famously said that you can read it in a day or you can digest it over a lifetime. And that stood out to me because when we're processing information and we're in the moment of engaging it, are we really digesting it or are we skimming through? And, it, and that opened my eyes to help me learn to take my time with everything that I consume. Um, a poem I made off of this was Letting go in order to receive all the blessings that are meant for me. I take the next step without needing to see. Understanding all will be, so just be. Um, that was inspired from life experiences. One may often ask for more, but do you have the space and the capacity to receive more? I hope that from this you learn and instill the habit of letting go on the daily. What we have next is CR, or Cohort Coherent Rhythm. This was inspired by the works of Dr. Joe Dispenza and in the words of Dr. Joe Dispenza. What sinks, links. Placing one's intention in the heart where the elevated emotion starts. As it begins to open, one feels gratitude and joy. And you breathe and feel these emotions. The heart begins to beat in a more rhythmic fashion, producing a measurable magnetic field. That energy is a frequency. All frequency carries information. As you begin to elevate your emotional state, you then, you're literally changing your physiology state. When you feel elevated, the energy carries a thought. So lay the intent of something you desire to manifest. This means that when you continue a clear intention with the elevated motion, you change the energetic field around you. And that's important because that's, that's how change happens. It doesn't happen on the outside, it happens on the inside. Neuro, neuroplasticity research says, can you believe in a future that you can't see or experience it with your senses, but you've thought about enough times in your mind, you've rehearsed enough times in your mind that you begin to feel that the experience has already happened? Latest research in neuroplasticity says it's possible. Next, we have our heart Wi-Fi Connect. This one came to me very inspirational priest. Um, I was looking into sound healing and seeing how sound can benefit the body's process of all the things that it needs to do. And the sulfagial frequencies is the reason why this is about. The, the original sulfagial frequencies were six and it started with 369, 417, 528, 639-741-852. Each one of these has a color coordinated with it and it is tied to the musical scale. So Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La correlates with all these. Um, these are referred to as the holy tones. So starting with 369, its color is red and you would say oot and do, the same thing. It's associated with liberating guilt and fear. Relinquent, returning your thoughts to higher vibrational state of positivity and healing the feeling of guilt, doubt, and transforming into joy. 417, that is orange. 
correlated to the musical scale of Re. This, is, this musical note is responsible for undoing situations and facilitating change. Then we have 528. This is considered the miracle note. It is the color yellow. And you would say me, like do, re, me. That's the one that goes to that. It's, a, it's called the miracle tone and it's associated with transforming, transformation and miracles along with DNA repair. Increasing the feeling, feeling of positivity and love, containing vibrational frequencies to heal the mind, body, and soul. Next, we have 639. That color coordinates to green. Music, musical scale, it, you would say fa. Do, re, mi, fa. <laughs> Connecting to relationships, restoring balance to relationships, promoting clarity of thought. When you're playing these tones, each of these has a certain purpose, depending on what goal you're trying to achieve. I suggest looking into the musical scores of the solfeggio frequencies on YouTube, playing it in your background or meditating to it and see what the solfeggio frequencies can do for you. Um, lastly, last two, we have 741 which is right here, which is cayenne blue, and it's soul. So do, re, mi, fa, soul, that. <laughs> it repels anger, jealousies, lies, and awakens intuition. And last of the six original solfeggio frequencies or holy tones is 852, which is la. So we got do, re, mi, fa, soul, la. You know. Returning to spiritual order, Intuition, connection to higher self, and ability to gain access to your own inner God. The original six holy tones together was later updated with an additional three tones, uh, 174, 285, and 963. Yeah. Um, how they were found is very interesting, though. So using Pythagorean math, one was studying the Book of Numbers, and... As they were studying the book of numbers and used Pythag Pythagorean math, they saw a pattern. And from that pattern revealed the 174, the 285, and the 963, which were the three la later added to the solfeggio frequencies that makes a total of nine. 